All right, so I have been married for 48 hours and I eloped. And there are reasons why. No, this channel is not gonna turn into a wedding channel or anything of that nature. I am gonna be talking about my wedding and why I chose to elope and different wedding getting married factors, but it all ties back to money investing and finance and how to spend your money and invest in your money the way you want to that brings you the most life, the most joy and the most satisfaction. So with that being said, this video is about how I feel about eloping, how I feel about getting married, and just the anticlimactic feeling that everybody experiences when it's all over. And let's, ex let's get into it, okay? This is Destiny with Free Spirit Finances. If you like my content, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's get into this content. All right, so for the record, this is the leftovers of my side braid. I'll, I'll insert a picture right here. These are the leftovers of my side braid that I had for the wedding. I'm trying to, I spent money on this hair, on this hairstyle and I'm like, a lot of money and I'm like, I wanna keep this as long as possible. Let's have a conversation about eloping versus having the great big grandiose party that you're supposed to throw for all your friends and family or anything in between, there's a spectrum. Here are the reasons why I chose to elope and let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Um, the average wedding costs $30,000 in the US. Uh, tell me if you're from a foreign country, tell me how much it costs in your country, I wanna know. And eloping costs way less. That was number one. That was the number one reason why. However, <laughs> I just spent a whopping $2,000 on my elopement. And you're like, $2,000 to elope? What did you do? Now, for a wedding, that's pretty cheap. But for eloping, yeah, that, that, that's a lot. What happened? Well, we got married at a, quote, mini destination wedding about three hours from where we live. And... Uh, the, the venue was actually a free venue. We got married at Chapel Dulcinea in Austin, Texas, and it is a free venue. You have to put a deposit in, but you get your deposit back to reserve your spot, all that. Uh, the, we, we took a package from an elopement service, which was actually really good in the long run because they coordinated everything and they made certain everything went off without a hitch. It was really nice. Uh, so the officiant, the photographer and the music were about $900 of that 2000, okay? So that was that, and I asked them, look, th this is a chapel, but I don't wanna get married inside the chapel, I wanna get married on the balcony that overlooks the bluffs, you'll see the picture here, this is what I want. They were fine with that, we made it work, it was an awesome, like, again, <laughs> ever since I was like, I don't know, a teenager, I was like, I want an epic photo shoot at my wedding, I could care less about anything else, so <laughs> 20 years later, lo and behold, I am still, uh, that is still my heart's desire. So I put all my money towards having said epic photo shoot. It's another, I'll get into that why I chose to elope later on after I finished costs. So that was about 900 of it. And then the rest of it, and I will probably do another video on my dress alone, but the dress, uh, all of the accoutrement that went with the dress, like the, like the, the tattoo jewelry, the, tat the jewelry, the hair, the makeup, like the sandals, all of that was, uh, oh gosh, probably in the $400 to $500 range. <laughs> and I'll explain that later in another, other, um, in another video. But hey, hey, it's way less than what a, like a typical wedding dress costs just for the dress alone. But my whole outfit ensemble was probably $500. And then my husband's suit and you know what his outfit was was about 250 and uh just adding the whole thing up food gas hotel like all of that you know everything and the trip out there itself we, we spent about two grand and my husband oh my gosh my husband he was like you know this is just a, a glorified photo shoot here because we can always go elope at the courthouse are you ready to go do this two thousand dollar photo shoot i'm like yes how did you know that this was a glorified photo shoot this is exactly what i want <laughs> this is great and so um, we went out and did it, but it was special. He had a good time, I had a good time, it was great. And um, no regrets about doing it, but I, I cannot, I must confess, the next morning, uh, again, I had a hard time sleeping that night because I had this thing in my hair and I, I wanted to preserve it. So I'm like, the bobby pins are poking me in the middle of the night and I'm like, no, I wanna preserve my hair as much as possible. Well, I was like at four in the morning, I woke up and I was like, it started to hit me. I just spent $2,000 for an hour and a half sliver of time in my life because the wedding ceremony itself, like the whole thing was about an hour and a half between arriving there, you know, registering all of that, getting the marriage license signed, the ceremony and the, and the photo shoot was about an hour and a half time, time frame. 
I just spent $2,000 on an hour and a half time slot of my life. And I'm just having that sink in, like, this is it, this is it. And, and it, this, this ties into the bigger picture, guys. We want a wedding because everybody else wants a wedding. And I'm, mainly for females, I'm sure men out there want to do this, you know, just, I mean, I'm sure there's some men, I'm like, oh yeah, I really want this for my wedding and all that. But, but, but let's just be real and honest. It's marketed toward the females. And they, it's because everybody else has a wedding that you want the wedding. And I, again, I'm happy with the photos. I'm happy with our ceremony, the time that we, we, uh, we had together. Our vows were beautiful. We both cried. I know I'm with the right person. He knows he's with the right person. It was wonderful. But I sometimes wonder, like, where did this come from? Because 100 years ago, yes, people got married, and yes, they wore a special dress. But where did this, oh, I have to have this, like, epic party and this epic photo shoot. I know I'm guilty. I wanted an epic photo shoot. I got my epic photo shoot, but I'm like, where did we get this? Where did we come to as a society where, where this is the norm now? This is where we have to do. And again, if you want to do this, go all out and do this. It's great. I'm just kind of sitting back here thinking, I'm glad I didn't spend $30,000 on a six-hour slot of my life. You know, because it's, I mean, bigger weddings last longer than an hour and a half. So it begs to ask the question, is it worth the great big party or to a low? Because apparently you're going to spend money either way, especially if you were going to get what you want to get. So I wonder, in the com let me know in the comments below what you'd like, because here are the other reasons, the non-monetary reasons on why I chose to elope.